On this episode of Travels with Bill, we're at Mega Train in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And we're actually checking out something really special. It's the Geotrax rail system. Fisher Price started making Geotrax back in 2003, and by 2018, it was discontinued. But here at the show, we've got a mega collection of Geotrax. Get it? Mega Train? Mega Collection? Nah, what can I say? This is the neatest stuff. I've got one of these sets at home. I certainly don't have this many, and I had no idea you could build it in such a huge set. Well, we need to find out a lot more about this and why such a large set exists, and for that, we need to check in with Dwayne Arms. I'm Dwayne Arms. Dwayne, what made you do this? Um, this actually started, um, we fostered a autistic child, and his love of trains evolved, and we stumbled on Geotracks. We had had the wooden trains, we'd had the Thomas, uh, the durability on them wasn't there with autism, and, and uh, he also had some motor skill issues. So we got the Geotrax, and uh, he could put it together, they hooked together easy, and if they fell off the table, they didn't break it, uh, their durability was much higher. So that kind of evolved, and then we started buying up used sets online, and it kind of evolved into this, and uh, yeah, so we collected for well over 10 years, just picking up sets here and there, and uh, yeah, he, uh, he grew up and moved on, as happens in fostering, and I had all these bins and bins and bins of Geotrax, and unfortunately, the set's so large that selling it off just didn't seem right, so we've uh, come to the show now a few years, and this year I decided to build the modular design, so that I'm hoping to start doing other train shows as well. So. How much time do you have into this? Into this, the, the, module, the four modules there, uh, that's probably... Um, with building them and then all the tracks. The tracks is about 10 plus hours. And then we did another seven hours yesterday on the rest of it here then too, till we assembled that, got it going. And then all of these uh, I just built. The winter one I had planned at home. So I had that one uh, somewhat figured out. And uh, oh, the purple stuck, sorry, I'm interrupting your, <laughs> the joys of the job here. It, uh, so yeah, so that one I had planned, the winter I had planned. So I looked off the pictures and had everything in a bin and we just sort of worked from there. These sets here, the, the water and the cars and the, this little guy here, I just freeformed it when I got here. Just kind of, you know, I had my track sorted out and just used track until I got it. So this is a little different than a lot of the layouts because this is all battery. This is all battery, triple A's. So I'm bringing, I brought about 250 batteries for the weekend. I'm hoping to have a few left. Every engine uses three double or three triple A's. And uh, yeah, they last three, four hours. And so then I'm changing out. A bunch of the trains are so old, uh, they use an infrared controller and the circuitry's gone on them. They don't read anymore. So I figured out how to cut away that and I've just hardwired right from the battery straight to the motor. So they run continuous. So like uh, dock here and stuff, you put batteries in they go, which for the show is substantially handy because otherwise they keep timing out. So, but yeah, it's, uh, Triple A, triple A, triple A. What do you hear from kids about this? Oh, it's uh, the response is huge. Just because it's, uh, first of all, it's colorful. And I mean, I, I don't just hear that from the kids, I hear that from the adults too. It's colorful, it stands out. I mean, I love the realism in the other stuff, but for the kids, this is what, you know, grabs their attention. And uh, that's, that's what makes it all worthwhile, right? I mean, you see them, they're just mesmerized by it. And uh, it's, it's something that, you know, parents uh, that are looking for stuff for the kids, you know, they've tried this, they've tried the wooden tracks, the, you know. Magnet trains, you have a limited, you can only couple so many cars and the magnets fail. Um, you know, Thomas has kind of fallen out of the, the popularity. Lego's great, but it's expensive, you know. So I just tell people too, you just watch Marketplace, you know, Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji and you might be able to pick up a set for a hundred bucks and get yourself going again. So the, the hard part is finding engines that still work because this stuff hasn't been made in 10 years. So a lot of these ones that are running even today are pushing 20 years old. They're not new. So the little rubber wheels are wearing out. The motors aren't engaging anymore. Um, you know, and I'm, I've got enough electrical skill I can get them going. But not everybody has that, and that's the hard part, right? So there is lots of push trains. I mean, for my boy that played with it, I actually put the battery trains away because he pushed them and grind the gears off. So he just ran the push trains, and he liked it because it was all about long trains, you know. And he, he sees the the trains on the tracks in the prairies here, and they're big and long. So his uh, autism sort of made him. It, it's not a train until it, it's a long train. So 
it, he just learned to push it. He did, we had a big setup in the basement. I was about 28 feet long, and he would just push trains down there for hours, round and round and round. So, yeah, it, uh, it became, it started as a simple need to have a toy for an autistic child and became this. <laughs> have you ever seen anybody else with a setup like this? No. No, I'm actually on a Facebook Geotracks page and there's a few people that have now seen me do this are going, you can take that to a train show? Like you could you could actually, you know, do this, right? Like it's not just a toy. It can become a display. And uh, there's a bunch of guys too. They're like, as we call us big kids, right? And they're inspired to go, you know, we can do this at our local train show too. And it's like, great, you, you think outside the box. I mean, yeah, there's, there's nothing here at this show, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing at any show in Western Canada that looks like this. Anything else you want to add? No. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Lots more to come on future episodes of Travels with Bill from Mega Trains. We were here the whole day and filmed a bunch of the layouts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and you'll see it all, including more about this ride on train. We'll see you next time on Travels with Bill.